Try a simple ink drawing of something that interests you or that you have a feeling about. Oops, let's get some of this out from under here. This is a toy that was given to me as a child, and I'm very fond of him and very glad that I still have him. So I'm going to do just a very quick, loose sketch. I can still see the stitching on him. And you will be seeing a different angle, so he'll look a bit different to you. I must have played with this a lot when I was a little girl. And considering that I am no longer anything resembling a little girl, you can imagine how long I've had him. I was very fond of beagles, and I think someone knew that and gave me this wonderful beagle dog. Again, you can see the stitching a little bit, and he has a satin nose. Muzzle, I guess you call it, on a dog. And this is stitches. Again, I'm keeping this quite simple. And not worrying about the occasional bobble when my page wants to rise up against me. <laughs> you may have noticed that. Bounce, bounce. Really, you can use a, a clip to hold it down, or maybe I will just let my little Hotai figure hold it a bit for me. It's got wrinkles there, and here's this little paw coming up there. Funny little tail. Oops. This is one of my gratitude lists on the left. I often like to include those in my journal. And his little back foot comes up. Again with the stitches showing. He looks like he's been reupholstered at some point in the past, and I suspect he had because he was well loved and probably got good and dirty. My older sister was great at reupholstering my childhood toys for me when they got too nasty. Okay, cute old boy. That'll do it for now and I will let the ink dry. I'm going to be using my Creamer Pigments palette for this. They're um, very different from the usual watercolors. They're more opaque. They're a bit grainier, so they granulate nicely. And sometimes they stain a bit, which is sort of surprising, uh, given the colors. So another good use for your Mr. Clean Magic Eraser is to clean your palette when you have too much staining. I, I normally don't worry about it, but as you can see, this took off the red staining where nothing else would. So, let's see what we can do with the little beagle here. Hmm. I'm going to put the palette here. And you're going to have to trust me with beagle colors because he needs to be over there. And once again, oops, let's uh, refresh the colors. I don't use this palette frequently, but when I do, it's a lot of fun. As you can see, as normally, I use the dark blue and the burnt sienna-ish colors the most. Lovely neutrals. Let's use some of this for his oops body color. Got right into the red brown before I meant to, so I'll move this guy up here. Oh good, my ink is not smearing. Sometimes it does. 
despite the fact that it's my favorite good old noodlers, which normally doesn't smear on me, this winter it has been doing so. His little muzzle was just a bit pink, so I'm going to add just a bit of pinkness to it. And I'm leaving the edges a bit untouched, so to suggest the the light hitting him. Oops. And if you have a boo-boo like that where you go out of a line and you don't want to, just shove it back in place. Doesn't make it a hundred percent, but it obviously helped a lot. Again, this is the Fabriano Tiziano paper, which is rather lightweight, so it will buckle some underwater color washes, but I don't mind that. It's in a journal and it will be just fine. Oops, did another one of those boo-boos, so I pushed it back. Now, while he's still wet, I'm going to come in. Well, ooh. <laughs> I'm having one of those days. Okay, a little bit of shadowing here and there. And I think I'll add some of my favorite blue to the shadows. That's a little darker than I wanted, so... Oh, that also gave him a nice flannelly texture. I think I'll do that up here, too. And down there. All right, let's lighten up the blue a bit, just to hold the shadow effect. And really, I don't worry over much about getting it perfect, because obviously it's a speedy little sketch. Just capturing my old childhood friend. And if I had wanted to, oh, let's say I want to, I'll come back in with a stronger blue in the shadows, which is kind of lively and nice. And then blend right on into the shadows under him, using a good strong blue this time. And let's let that blend off here softly. And as you can see, I am spattering a bit as I go along, and I don't mind that. It will make some unity in the sketch. Let's do some brown, too. Hoping I don't get it on my camera lens. All right, I am going to let him dry and then come back in and do the details. Oops, let's not let that puddle too much. One nice thing about blotting when you have the uh, granulating creamer colors is that that makes an interesting texture too. I love these things. Zeroing in for some, oops, wiggle the table again, for some detail work on this guy. Uh, I'm using my nice finely pointed water brush and I'm mixing a good dark brown like for his button eyes. And I have more control with this little brush. Oops. And a little too opaque, so coming in and blotting a bit. And again, the stitches on his muzzle, I'm just indicating them a little bit. And of course you can rinse out your water brush in water just like you can any other brush. I'm going to come back in and show the uh, wrinkle lines just a bit on him, and the stitching, emphasize them a bit, a little bit under his nose, and his muzzle has a bit of a wrinkle to it, I'm 
more shadow under there. He's such a little treasure. I'm so glad I still have him. I also still have my baby book, and it tells about when he was given to me. That would be a very long time ago. Dinosaurs were still roaming the earth. <laughs> so I'm going to suggest a little bit of the shadow under behind the buttons. And then, because this is one of my gratitude lists, I'm turning this so I can letter a bit better. And I'll turn this so you can see my color. Picking up that same blue. I like to write gratitude. It's a wonderful word. You can go back in and pick up more paint, of course, as you need it. There, that ties in the words with the image, and that makes a memorable um, journal page for me. Very sentimental I am, yes indeed. <laughs> 